What's going on YouTube? Today we have a overview video for Mega Altaria. Now Mega Altaria of course starts off as a dragon flying type and when it Mega evolves it turns into a dragon fairy type. Uh, it also gains the ability Pixelate. Pixelate of course changes all normal type moves to fairy type moves and then boosts them by an additional 30% on top of the 50% stab boost so it's like holding a life orb with your fairy type moves only. Now turning into a dragon fairy type is quite the boon for Mega Altaria. Uh, yes, it does give it additional weaknesses to poison and steel, but it also makes it immune to dragon type moves and then it gets resistances to dark and fighting and of course bug. Granted, it did already have the resistances to fighting and bug when it was a dragon flying type, but now it gains the dark resistance. So this is important mainly because of how prolific moves like knockoff are in our metagame and uh, a little less commonly Sucker Punch um, and Dark Pulse. But just because knockoff is on so many Pokemon, being a Mega Pokemon that's resistant to knockoff, not only will the knockoff not get the boost, but it basically gives Pokemon like Mega Altaria a free chance to switch in. Now when you look at Mega Altaria's stats, we see boost to several of its stats, um, getting uh, maintaining the idea of the very balanced approach that Mega Altaria has over the other Dragon type Pokemon. With attack, defense, and special attack all at base 110, uh, I'm sorry, special attack at base 110, with the special defense at 105, Mega Altaria can take a wide variety of attacks and either roost the damage off or proceed to set up with Dragon Dance. With Pixelate, Mega Altaria will have access to uh, a lot of boosted attacks in the same way that Mega Salamence or Sylveon um, have access to new attacks as well. Uh, the most notable sets you're going to see on Mega Altaria are probably going to be the same thing that you would see on the Mega Salamence and the idea of Dragon Dance and Return or Facade uh, alongside Earthquake or Fire Blast just to be able to hit Steel types. Mega Altaria has a particular, particular interest in running Roost just because of how bulky it is, it is going to be able to take a lot of attacks. We might also see a special attacker with Mega Altaria, um, just because of uh, having the same base special attack alongside moves like Hyper Voice, which of course can pierce substitutes. There's some real power to be had there, and uh, Mega Altaria can take advantage of that. Unfortunately, with Draco Meteor lowering its special attack by two stages, um, it can utilize those moves, but Mega Altaria doesn't like to switch around too much since it does get hit by every type of uh, entry hazard when it turns into a Mega. Uh, and then it's vulnerable to spikes and toxic spikes as well. It doesn't want to switch around too much, but it does get access to Heal Bell through the new Move Tutor, so you may see that um, alongside one of those other moves there just for support or because Mega Altaria is so prone to, have to be hit by toxic or the physical variants are prone to be burned. Uh, Scald is very popular as our priority Will-O-Wisp. Now ways to check or counter Mega Altaria are mm, relatively simple just because uh, being a fairy type it is a little bit um, easier hit by priority moves like Bullet Punch. Uh, things like Greninja of course carry Gunk Shot for fairies now so it has to deal with all the same issues that other fairies have to. That being said, Mega Altaria definitely has the bulk to take multiple super effective attacks that aren't stab. Uh, Bullet Punch and Ice Shard, coming from Pokemon that aren't those types, are going to do paltry amounts of damage to Mega Altaria. Now, taking repeated hits from those will whittle it down over time, but it can just roost off that damage. Priority Will-O-Wisp or Priority Toxic, um, if, my, if Altaria doesn't have Heal Bell, those are going to be big issues for it. And something like Heatran with a Balloon can come in for free on Altaria. A lot of Pokemon like Excadrill, Magnezone, all those Pokemon like to use Balloon to dodge Earthquake, uh, and since they are Steel type, they don't take very much damage at all from the Dragon or Fairy type attacks that Altaria might hit them with. Uh, they do have to be cognizant of the fact that some Altaria sets do run Fire Blast, otherwise they can kind of have a field day uh, against Mega Altaria. Now other partners that are going to be good for Mega Altaria to have on its roster. Uh, generally physically bulky walls uh, anything that can come in and resist those physical hits, like Bullet Punch and Ice Shard, those are going to be very easy to bring in. Uh, some Pokemon use Meta Mega Altaria as setup fodder if it lacks the right um, uh, coverage move like Fire Blast. So that means other Pokemon like Quagsire that have Unaware 
are going to be good partners as well, just because they resist the bullet punch, they don't take very much damage from Ice Shard, and then if your opponent sets up, they're unaware of those boosts, and so they have the opportunity to do some damage or phase them out or do what they need to do there. Uh, screen support is especially effective with Mega Altaria, because then it basically turns it into an unbreakable wall. Um, of course, Light Screen and Reflect uh, raise the defense or special defense of the Pokemon that you have on your field, but that allows Mega Altaria to set up very easily behind screens and then sweep through your opponent's team, uh, since it will be able to roost off any of the damage that it sustains from any possible priority attacks, and uh, with enough boost, it won't really matter if it gets burned either. To aid in those sweeps, if you decided to use Dragon Dance, I recommend using Entry Hazards, just because those will help you pick off a couple of KOs. Uh, and then make sure you play with those EVs if there are hits that you think you need to take. Like Greninja's Gunk Shot, I don't recommend fully investing in speed. Uh, just because Altaria being a base 80 speed Pokemon hits certain speed uh, numbers after a boost. So uh, adding to your special defense or your defense or even your HP can allow you to take some of those hits a little bit better and then strike back. Because Mega Altaria is only above average speed before it starts getting those uh, Dragon Dances off. Now I hope that this video has been useful. Be sure to leave a like and stay tuned for the next Mega Overview video. Bye bye now.